Well, really, this is just going to cause a hassle for the next couple of hours for drivers because at least three major railroad crossings just south of Washington Street will be closed for several hours, including the one here at Harding, then also at Belmont and at Lyndhurst. Now take a look at Skycam 6. This is just west of downtown, again, south of Washington Street and just east of Harding. IFD says just before 10 o'clock this morning is when this happened. I've been talking to investigators on the scene and they say basically there was a train that was eastbound on the CSX tracks that ended up colliding with seven cars that were parked, again railroad cars, that were parked on the tracks. One was a grain car that was damaged and spilled its contents. Six were tankers and I've just been told recently by investigators out here one for sure, but possibly two of those that contained an oil-based substance were damaged and spilled. The health department is here monitoring the situation. As far as the fire department is concerned at this point, it's non-flammable. So our, our response has scaled down. And again, as you can see from those pictures of Skycam 6, they have cleanup crews here on the scene, but it's expected to take hours. And they say this is a long train, about three miles long at least. So again, the railroad crossings just south of Washington at Harding, Belmont, and Lyndhurst will be blocked for several hours. The Department of Public Works will be putting up barricades and signs to let drivers know. Reporting live from the west side, Julie Persley, RTV6.